everybody. Welcome to Milgap Farms. It's a good day. It's actually a cold day. It's the middle of October, and I, I, I've been seeing flurries. There goes again. I've been seeing flurries all day. It is downright bitter cold here. Um, it's, well, it's, it's got to be like 30-some degrees. Hey, for October, it's, I wouldn't say that's normal, but it's definitely cool. You guys know what this is? It's a pressure tank. And we, we had a problem with our well. You may have seen one of those videos. Uh, if not, check in the description below. Um, I'll walk you through the process of getting to this point. And uh, here we are. This is the old one, and I want to see what's in it. If you've never seen what's in it, stick around. It's going to be pretty cool. So guys, I probably should do a disclaimer. I don't know if I'd try this at home, uh, but if you do, film it, because I'd love to see it. To let you know, I've already, uh, I've disconnected everything off of it. I've even taken the Schrader valve out to remove all the pressure. You know, once this thing is apart, there shouldn't be any pressure in it at all. But to be on the safe side, this is out. I've unscrewed the fittings off the bottom. And now we're gonna start by just cutting the top off, and then we're gonna look down into it. So you definitely wanna wear a pair of safety glasses. These are a good idea too. All right, I'm gonna touch the side. I'm gonna grab the side that's not hot. Well, that's disappointing. Nothing on the bottom. Huh. We're gonna cut the second thing off. I bet you the bladder's probably tied into something like that. All right, well, that's the top. So let's pull the next section off. This time, I'm gonna put it on its side. All right, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the position that we would normally find it in, which should be pushing down. However, we're gonna put air in from the bottom and bring it up and look and see if we got any holes. I think the deformity of the baffle is what caused my problems. All right. So I didn't have anything that's gonna fit directly in here, but I did have an old version of, uh, of what goes in this particular item. However, this didn't come from a house. I'm just going to stick it right on in. Of course I say that. There she goes. All right. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, well, that's all we're going to get. Here it comes. This can't be good. Oh, how'd that happen? That's weird. Start coming out that. So that's not going to work. I got to put something in that. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, maybe that'll work. Oh. Maybe it's not. That is pretty. 
pretty cool. I don't think we had any leaks in the in the baffle. So I was wearing hearing protection, I couldn't hear it. I'm guessing it's kind of loud. Now we can see on the inside, we didn't have to cut anything. Looks like a brass fitting or something in there, some plastic. And, you know, I don't know what was causing the problem. Maybe it was just too sloppy, or maybe not enough air pressure on it. Well, but for sure, that thing held air, didn't it? It's probably at 100 PSI before it blew. So what'd you guys think of that? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm trying to think, what's the next thing we're gonna, we're gonna destroy here on the farm? Ah, we're gonna be fixing something, I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's not one of these tanks because that was just a hateful mess. It wasn't fun to find it or find that problem. So for sure, that baffle did not have a hole in it. Um, I'm not really sure why that was the, seems to be the problem of our well since we replaced it with a new one we haven't had any problems at all so we feel pretty pretty happy about that that's for sure but it was a lot of fun taking it apart let us know what you guys think in the comments if you want us to take something else apart cut it apart hey let me know we'll, or bring something out to the farm we'll cut it up together if you guys are going to try something like this at home be sure to wear safety glasses and even hear earmuffs you really don't want to get hurt doing something stupid like this but it was a lot of fun. It really was. And so that's about it for today. I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. Consider giving us that thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you guys. Look up at the trees. Aren't they beautiful? This morning they looked like they were on fire. The sun was set, was uh, rising and you could see it kind of creeping up the mountain. Or actually in this case it was coming down the mountain. At night we watch it go up the mountain on the other side. But it was beautiful.